me tell you just how I, I jump into a wine barrel. I'm usually the reasonable type. But in my life, I've done some crazy things. Hold up. Let me give you an example. I got married secretly after a few months of knowing my first husband. I met in the US and uh, during a one week uh, business trip. A few years later, after we divorced, I moved all the way to, from France to Australia in Melbourne with two suitcases having never set foot in Melbourne. Three years later, I moved again to Singapore to be with my new husband. Guess how I met him? Uh, one week on business trip in Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> so what next? <laughs> well, I found in love again with wife. Let me explain you how it happened. We are in 2017. I've just joined the executive MBA at INSEAD. I want to evolve in my career, break the glass ceiling. I've been 20 years into telco and energy management. Yep, nothing to do with wine. I've been all networks and electrical switchboards. So I'm in our um, strategy class and we go through um, a case, business case called Yellowtail. This case described how Australians took over the US wine market by bringing a simple and accessible wine and reaching out to non customers. You know, people who think that French wine is complicated and rather go for beer? And there I have an epiphany. I would do something like this in Singapore. <clears throat> I have all these ideas running into my head. Wine accessories, wine barrels, me in a wine bar, me sipping wine all day. <laughs> <laughs> a few weeks later, I attend the Startup Bootcamp, where you go through ideas creation, uh, you draw, and it is, I get excited again. I'm going to renew the wine bar concept with the barman, the waiter, teaching customers how to taste wine with little accessories and little games. I get very excited. And I'm thinking, I'm going to do my own business, my wine business. But how? I've got no expertise in wine no experience in the wine industry and no knowledge about the food and that. So, I first decided to go for wine certification at the same time as INSEAD and, and my day job. And I also decided to focus my final project at INSEAD on wine, the wine bar concept. And time passes and after a few months, I realized, almost next to graduation, that there is no wine club at INSEAD. Here we go. I'm going to do the wine club. I'm going to share the love and actually, it's a great way to learn and to taste some ideas. I throw myself into it. Finally, in March 2019, I launched the Wine Club. And with the ambition to have one event per month. It gave me the courage to also incorporate my wine company called A Wine Adventure. But I'm full of fears. I've never done this in my life. And I keep stalling. Deep down, I know that I'm going to have to force myself. So what do I do? In October this year, I've set up, I've hosted a masterclass at NSEAT 
So imagine, I'm in an empty, full of people, where I used to be a, a student, and I end up being the professor. I'm terrified. But this time I'm using the real games and the real accessories I thought about. And it works, people love it. But I still hesitate. So, in the meantime, I've had a lot of people coming to me in St. Alumni who have their um, little wine business aside, and we decided to do a wine fair at Inset so they can share the stories and their wines. And then two people jump out. And I'm like, what about me? Why about me? But I'm not ready. But where will I be? So last week, I registered to be one of the exhibitors, and I decided to launch on the 5th of December my law campaign. And I've only three weeks to do it, but I'm doing it. And there it is. I'm dumping into the wine barrel, and I'm launching my own company. 